Hi, a very good evening to all of you. Today we are going to discuss a case note of uh, Andy Williams, a 65 year old man who has a problem of uh, obesity. And he presented to the clinic that is Eastern Medical Center that's in Melbourne. It's uh, on, it was on 15th of uh, June, 2018. Right now, you are going to write a letter of referral to uh, the weight sender, to the surgeon, Dr. D. Kurek. So let us see the case in detail. What we can see here is relevant is the name, that is Andy Williams, Mr. His age is 65. <clears throat> His weight is 155.5 kg. His BMI is 46.6 kg. The date that is 15 June 2018, Eastern Medical Center is the clinic name, which you are working as a nurse practitioner. So all these information which underlined might be re uh, relevant to the letter. Let us go further. The client, Mr. Andy Williams, uh, was a radiologist and he got uh, recently divorced. So I don't need the profession here if you need to say you can say it is optional uh, even i don't need this thing if you need you can say because um, we are going to we are more dealing with the medical condition we are not going to deal with the social condition what relevant what is relevant to the social history here is that it's not the social history, it's the family history. He has a positive uh, family history of uh, obesity. So we just can say that the partner, his current partner, so he's divorced, his current partner who is living with him, he or she does all the cooking and shopping. That's what we need to understand, that's supportive. The supportive partner is there. Now we have to brief uh, his medical history and uh, medications. Let us go ahead with that. So apart from obesity, he has type two diabetes. He has hypertension. He has gout. He has sleep apnea. So these are the associated disorders what <clears throat> Mr. Andy Williams has. So when he was presented, that's on 15th of this June morning, we have assessed his blood glucose level that was marked. HbA1c level, it's normal, triglycerides, serum insulin. So these investigations we have done. Um, as far as we are not going to uh, deal with this thing. It's not that much important there. So HbA1c level, the blood sugar level. Right now we have said that what more important is about diabetes medications that's 30 and 70 units NPH insulin that he's taking 30 units before breakfast and 70 units before and after dinner. So this is what this is more relevant than the than the blood glucose level right now. Because because uh, we need to give uh, this is a regular pattern. This is a regular pattern because it's not a uh, a particular so today morning he had the blood glucose level so this doctor the doctor dr Kurak, who is concerned with this uh, recommendation 
he's just uh, his duty is to recommend the best weight reduction option to mr andy williams so this today's blood glucose may change tomorrow because it's uh, today it may be different to tomorrow it may be different and uh, uh, right now, whether uh, this person is uh, uh, planning for surgery, when the surgery is that that time, we need to go ahead with the other blood investigations and the results reports. Right now, what we have to inform the surgeon is that he has these associated disorders that is diabetes, hypertension, gout and all. And we have to say this, uh, this is the, the medications, this is the treatment that he's having for these things. So he need to concern, he need to uh, consider these things before recommending the best optional treatment. So instead of the lab investigations, I give importance to the medications, that is the insulin and the other medications he is taking regularly. So we don't need to go with the, the over the counter medications here. Now regarding the weight, that's the most important part of the letter. So what exactly is the most important part of the letter? This is something very, very crucial in the letter. So apart from the family history, he has he has obesity since his childhood. And this was increasing every decade. And when he reached his adulthood, he reported the highest adult weight. So not more than this, this is the highest adult weight. Now, we can say that he participated in some commercial and medical, some weight reduction programs, and he was successful in that. He was able to cut down some of his weight, but after that, he regained weight within months of discontinuing the programs. As soon as he discontinued the programs, he regained, he started regaining the weight. So therefore he consulted a dietitian, a registered dietitian, and he might have given advices regarding the options for weight reduction. But at that time, Mr. Andy Williams was reluctant to surgery because he was concerned about the complications of the bariatric surgery. Now, now, right now he has the food habits, three meals, he takes three meals, but dinner is the heaviest he has, and he takes it at 7.30 p.m. And of, of course, he, uh, he, he reports once a month he have binge eating, which was triggered by stress. That's okay. Now, what is the plan? What is the plan of reference? Right now, patient is in a very pathetic condition and he needs the help of someone to reduce his weight and to live a peaceful and secure life. He needs to do his activities of daily living. Right now he's facing some difficulties. He's not able to do the, his, his own prop, his own duties and responsibilities, which he has to do daily. So he's getting help from his partner right now. So he wants to, right now he wants to learn about the surgical options. And the partner is encouraging. Now the support is there from the partner. Right now we are going to write a referral letter to Dr. Kurak in the weight center. 
for the evaluation of obesity and recommendations for treatment. So we need to see evaluation of obesity and recommendation for treatment. Then that's the purpose of the letter. It's very clearly said. This is the purpose of the letter. Evaluation of obesity, a recommendation for the treatment. And that's uh, the reason, the purpose, which I am writing to Dr. D. Kurak. So let us go ahead and see the model here. 15 June 2018. Okay, Dr. D. Kurak. Okay, now I have to see something. I have to say Mr. Dr. D. Kurak is a surgeon. Okay. So, surgeon. Okay. So D. Korak is a surgeon. So designation, the form name, the weight sender, exactly, three nine. Okay, right now. Reference, Mr. Andy Williams, age at sixty five. Very good. Now we are going to write the referral letter. The purpose. <clears throat> I'm writing to refer Mr. Andy Williams, who requires your expert evaluation and recommendation regarding his treatment. Yes. He has been a long-term sufferer of obesity and associative disorders. Okay, we can make some changes there. Let's go ahead with that. I am writing to refer Mr. Andy Williams, who requires your expert evaluation and recommendation regarding his condition. He has been a long-term sufferer of obesity and has associative disorders okay so a recommendation regarding his condition his condition is mentioned in the next sentence long-term sufferer of obesity and has associative disorders we have not simply mentioned obesity is the problem we have said obesity and associated problems associative disorders are there like hypertension diabetes these are associative disorders which we need to inform to the surgeon that he also has this problem now in the first particular paragraph we are we have written an exclusive paragraph the first paragraph is dedicated to his weight and obesity nothing else is there only weight because we are dealing with obesity we are dealing with obesity we are dealing with obesity so that's why the first paragraph is dealing with obesity highlights mr williams who has a family history of obesity okay so or else we have to write a social history different so we just included that who has a family history of obesity has been increasing his weight since childhood so since when he has he reported weight increment since his childhood and he's reported to have the highest adult weight so all the matter is mentioned in just a single a single sentence. He has a family history of obesity. It has been the, his weight has been increasing since childhood. So when it started, since childhood started, and he had the reported uh, the highest adult weight that is reported. Reported already. Although he reduced his weight by participating in some weight reduction programs, 
he regained weight once he discontinued it. Discontinued those. Okay, so um, so he had some weight reduction programs there, but once he discontinued those, he regained weight. So this is some uh, some another uh, some other information which is very relevant regarding the issue. The issue is obesity. He referred himself to a dietitian but had concerns about the complications of bariatric surgery. Um, but now I just make him editing here regarding the issue. He referred himself to a dietitian, however, due to concerns about the complications of bariatric surgery, he Just a minute, I just am making, he referred himself to a dietitian. However, due to concerns about the complication of bariatric surgery, he did not. Proceed further. Okay. So that's the reason. So right now he is having the problem. Earlier, he consulted a dietitian, but he had uh, concerns about the complications of bariatric surgery. He didn't proceed further. Now, his current weight is 155.5 kg, and his BMI is 46.6. So this paragraph, which is highlighted in blue, is exclusively regarding obesity and weight. Now, what we have discussed, what we have uh, written in the second part is that associative disorders. So he has not only obesity, but has some other problems, hypertension, diabetes, that's also lifestyle diseases, which, which co-presents co with the obesity. So what comorbid conditions he had, he has hypertension, diabetes, gout, and sleep apnea. And these are also lifestyle changes, which are very, very related to lifestyle diseases, the most common lifestyle disease that is obesity. So once we have addressed that the problem, now what, and I told you that we are not going to go ahead with the lab investigation because this person is not going to do the surgery right now. But we need to go ahead with the regular medications. What he's taking, that's 30 to 70 units NPH insulin before breakfast and before or after dinner respectively. His other medications include metformin at overstatin, lisinopril, and nifedipine. So that's it. So we need to inform that he's taking these many medications. He's taking insulin for diabetes. He's taking at overstatin for his high blood pressure. So that's, we have informed his associated disorders and treatment. Weight. Obesity history, associative disorders and treatment. 
so it's ordered right now we have to add something else that is about the diet and the present condition of the client mr williams have uh, it's not has it's not have it says mr williams has three meals a day in which dinner is the heaviest this is this is this dietary habit three meals the dinner dinner is the heaviest he also reported bench eating once a month triggered by stress so this is his subjective data he reports that at present he is concerned about the risk of his condition and with his partner's full support he wants to learn about the surgical options to cut down his weight so we have made the grammar editing everything almost okay Still, we may have some problems, but the letter looks okay right now. Now, what the doctor has to do, this is something very crucial. It would be appreciated if you could evaluate Mr. Williams' condition and suggest him the best treatment regimen. That's the recommendation, including and optional surgery suggest that's it we are not going to perform the surgery you are going to evaluate you are going to suggest or recommend him the best treatment regimen including an optional surgery including an optional surgery so what we have written will consider surgery if the weight sender recommends. Okay. So if the weight sender recommends, then only we will be proceeding ahead with the surgery. So you need to evaluate and suggest the best treatment regime including an optional surgery so that's it if you have any further queries regarding mr williams please do not hesitate to contact me or sincerely nurse practitioner you have the clinic name eastern medical center eastern medical center that's it so it's in melbourne so you don't need to write the name so we have completed the letter in the in three body paragraphs main body paragraph the main body paragraph is about the weight and obesity the primary condition the second body paragraph is about the associated disorders and the third body paragraph is about his habits, dietary habits and the current condition. And the request is made. Thank you. And that is the end of this explanation. Have a nice day.